off on another adventure hiking around uh, in the mountains west of my west of the shop up here and uh, today I got to I'm gonna do a different kind of shelter actually I'm not sure what I'm gonna do I I think I know what I'm gonna do but it depends on where I'm at when I get there I've got I've got on my phone here I've got four about four more minutes left and I've got to hike up this ridge and I just sent from here on I just leave the phone in my pocket and um, when the alarm goes off wherever I'm standing I've got to make a shelter there just trying to figure out what where I'm gonna be when this thing goes off oh boy rough territory uh oh there I am so this is this is terrible all right so here I am here's my spot give me a kind of a once around Oh, oh, there we go. That knocked the darn camera over. Okay, so I've got some gear here. Let's, in my Osni bag, I put my, this is one of our, this is a eight inch frying pan bag that we make. And uh, I started using it to carry my tarp accessories my poncho stuff okay so all right so this is my tarp accessory kit for ponchos right here so I've got three hanks of parachute cord in here some tent stakes some shock cord and some easy clips and uh, all right I have got to go I've got to go either this way or this way with my cordage. I think I'm going to go this way. All right. Keep knocking the darn tripod over. Straighten up the camera. I'm going to try to do. Let's see, it's about waist high. Yeah. I'm going to try to do stuff a little, as much as I can, so you can see it. Alright, so there's that little Swedish knot there. And I'm going to be going... Uh, come on, lock, there we go. And I'm going to be going lengthwise this way with the uh, poncho so all right so let's go over to this tree here uh, and it's, we really got a slope here so it's gonna make it gonna make it a little different more difficult working with the camera well I want to come about straight across so Here. Okay. Man. Hope I'm not too high. I'm gonna have to make it work because wow, it's pretty high. <laughs> I think I'm gonna drop it just a little. I don't really have time to do much in a way of do-overs. So here again, uh, I'm going to do a taut line here for tensioning this thing. Wow, 
I'm worried about that already. Man. If I have to redo this, that's really going to eat into my time here. So. Because I got to think about it. I got to fix something down here to, to lay on. even make this thing doable. This thing was set up as a hammock last time I used it. I left the uh, Dyneema runners in there, which is fine. Alright, so we'll throw this over there and, and see where it takes us here. Actually, I think that's going to be pretty doable right there. Again, I'm trying to trying to move the camera to get you some better shots here. People been liking these videos, but they kind of want to get some good shots. So here again, an Easy Clip Mini. Six of them come in the. Six of them come in our um, kit. So there's a lot of things I could do, but just to keep it easy, I think I'll do another one right there and call it good. Okay, here's this one. All right, now, let me move the camera back just a little. All right, so, kind of thinking, I probably need to loosen these up and slide it uphill just a little bit. It's actually one of the nice things about these clips is they are easy to operate. So let's just get right. Right there. I'd rather have a little bit more coverage on the uphill side here. Okay, now I gotta stake some stuff out. And let's see, let me there we go. I set the camera up with one short leg so I can try and try and adjust for the slope here without too much trouble. Alright, so now coming out over here to something. Right. Slide a tent stake out and I'm going to take these shock cords. I'm going to take one of those and uh, basically just weave it into here just by just by passing the loops through each other. Winds up making basically a square knot. Alright, I thought I'd show you how I do the joining here which I told you is kind of like a square knot. So I put the point of the stake through that loop. Then I put the other end of the shock cord through the loop on the tent stake. I pull them and you see it makes what you notice you see in a square knot. You pull that up 
That way you can pull it tight, but it's easy to work it undone. Just pull it apart like that. Okay, so now, put this through here, through the tent stake, and try to, I'm, I may, I may adjust these somewhat out as I go. Kind of depending. Okay. Let's see what we need to do here. Wow. I don't have a lot of time here. Be honest with you. All right. I may not even use a tent stake on this one. Well, I think I use it, but I may not drive it in the ground. So what I'm going to do is put this tent stake down here through this fork in this brush here and then pull on the pull on the uh, cord lock to tension that okay so there's that side now let's get this side stakes to work with here. Okay. Now let's see what we can do this one. I think I might do the uphill side first here. Yeah, I'll do that. So again, we'll pass the loop through one, the stake through one, and come up with a square knot. So it hooks these two pieces together. Okay. So I want to kind of be in line with that other stake and drive in uh, right here. Uh ground right there okay now then I just got to do one more corner here and we'll call it good okay I'll just tie that Swedish Ooh. Tie that Swedish hitch again here. Okay, now I may have to adjust that upper stake here just a little bit. So I'm going to try to line this one out good here. Okay. So. I go right there, that gives me good tension here. Dang, I've got to... <laughs> this ground's a little weird. There we go, I think that'll work. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll do our two times around here for our taut line. One time through for the outside. Dress the knot. There we go. Just leave that there, okay? So here we are here. I gotta move that upper one a little bit. Oh 
my gosh. Not doing quite as well today here. Well, do what we can. All right, there. Now yeah, that tension's out a lot better. Okay. So now I've got me a semblance of a shelter here. Clear out some of this debris. All right, now one of my problems here is is that I don't have much I have to just do what I can do here all right so I'm thinking as to try to bank some stuff up on this side a little bit. So I can have a some semblance of a flattened sleeping area here. It's not gonna work having that big rock right there. Okay. okay. Would have been nice if I'd have grabbed my gloves. I got them here. Had them sitting right there for me. So this, this wood right here is supporting a little bit of that edge. And uh, right now, so I don't lose any of this stuff, which has happened at times. That out of the way here, right now. I can get up in here and scrape down a bunch of these leaves and small debris up here. You know, down, I have my head that way, down at the foot, it doesn't really matter quite as much, you know, what's going to matter here is having a little cushioning there where I'm going to be laying. would be it's not essential at all but you know I saw that sticking up right there
All right. I'm just thinking when I put my blanket down, it wouldn't be unlikely for me to catch on that thing. Another rock there. Okay, we are pretty level here. I have gone over my time, but it's just an arbitrary, it's a goal, you know. It was a goal to set this up in 15 minutes. But, going to be whatever it is at this point. Okay. All right. Now yeah, then, pulled over the bottom foot or so. There's my shelter. All right. So there's my shelter put up. This right here is going to do me nicely, I think. And it actually feels pretty good with two to three inches of soft debris delay on here makes it pretty nice. All right, let me just peel the blanket back here so you can see see that bed right there nice and level and very and we go down here go down here about that far so we got a pretty good uh, cushion on here pretty nice and this is dry so it'll actually be insulative as well. Utah is the place, I love it here. So much variety. It's a beautiful state to live in. And I see I got a little bit of damage here. It's common out here in this kind of brush. This brush breaks off with sharp ends on it. And you know, you just gotta live with it. Not much you can do about it. But I managed to get me a, a shelter here. It took me a little longer than I wanted, but it's okay. It's a nice shelter. It'll do me really well. Putting these, breaking off these root pieces here and laying them down and then and scraping down a bunch of debris from the leaves and such from this tree here helped to give me a level, soft place to lay down. So that's actually very comfortable. A very nice, a very nice spot to lay. And I've got a shielding from you know moderate rain and uh, if I need to shield from more rain than that I have to do a little bit of trenching because I am on a hillside here but not too bad given how the trees are in the lay of the land here to uh, deal with that. So Perry Peacock Wilderness Innovation another fun little quickie setup unedited for the setup.